Hello there, how are you? I'm gonna be showing you how to upload multiple pictures into Framer using Dropbox, Zapier and Notion. This database uh, has to be Notion. We're gonna name it. We can put whatever we want. And we have to consider two columns. Uh, for this example, I have two, one for the name of the photo and one for the photo itself. So it has to be file and media type of, uh, of data in Notion. Then we proceed with the creation of the folder on Dropbox. We can name it uh, project one, which is create the, the folder. And then we can, we, we, we have to make sure that we have our images ready. We go to Zapier, we create a new Zap and for the trigger we select Dropbox we have to select new file in folder as a trigger event we just have to link our account uh, later we can select the space our account we can type the the folder name and we just uh, leave the sharing link active then we're gonna test the trigger of course, there is no, no files, so we proceed with the action. The action, we have to connect Notion. In Notion, we have to select create database item. We select our database when linking our account. We just wait for the authorization. We can select our account. And we once we select the database, we can uh, decide which uh, data is gonna go for it, which uh, column. So we have the file name and direct media link. With that, we continue and we're gonna skip the, the testing. We can just publish the sub and we can go into uh, Dropbox. We are gonna upload our first image just for testing purposes. So we have our image in there and we can run our SAP. We're gonna receive our notification and we're gonna have our first row in our database. Now we have to connect Notion with Framer. We name it, we name the collection, we link our account. Now, once we are authenticated, we might not see in the database, so we have to create another one, another collection. We give it an un another name. Now we can select the database. Here, we change the file type for photo as image. Then we leave everything as it is. And we have our first image imported. Here in the canvas, we have to insert our collection so we can see our first image imported. Now we can play around, we can set uh, our website, we can make it uh, a little bit more presentable for this <laughs> test uh, purpose. Then we can proceed with our second try. But this time we're gonna, we're not gonna trigger the SAP uh, manually, we're gonna wait until Dropbox sends information and uh, starts to fill our database. Meanwhile, I'm going to play around here with the framer. I'm going to check that everything is good. Uh, we can resize the image, we can uh, make a small grid, checking from time to time when everything is done. I'm checking if the pictures are uploaded. This app is active, so should take a couple of minutes, but there you go. The data starts to arrive, then you can go to the CMS for the collection and uh, in the collection you just have to press in sync once you press sync you just wait a couple of seconds and you're gonna have all your new images in framer so i hope uh, it is useful for you and if you have any questions just leave it in the comments i'm gonna try to reply as soon as possible